Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad lesson. A user said, hey, can you make a lightsaber? So my friends, here I am, and let's get cracking. So the first thing I did is sign in with Google, and I'm going to bring out a cylinder for the handle. I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to stretch it a little, and then I'm going to type the number 10 for what I want the size of my handle to be. I'm going to stretch that out and I'm going to put the number 15 for the length of the first piece. I'm going to make it really, really round and I'm going to give it a bevel of two. And I want the segments to be one just like it is. So I'm going to make this handle so that it tapers in a pretty nifty way. I'm going to instead of 15, change this to 25. I like clicking and changing the numbers. The nice thing about what I'm going to show you is you'll be able to make yours as custom as you want. Let's set the work plane up here and bring out a cone. Fill in the base radius with the number four. If you remember, we did 10 for our diameter of our cylinder, and then we tapered one, so that's why we use four. Let's select both objects, choose those center align buttons, and it fits perfectly. I'm going to change the height of this for this little sloped area to five, and then I want it to get wider as it goes up. So I'm going to take that zero, and instead of four, I'm going to make it five. So it's just got kind of a neat slope to it. I'm going to put another cone on top by doing work plane again. That way it drops right on top of it. Now remember our radius a minute ago? We made it five, so I'm going to put a five there. Notice they will match exactly. I'm going to change the height from 20 to 15, and I'm going to change this radius to 3. Let's select all of those, click Align. I'm going to choose the orange one for where my center is, and then when I click the edges, that snaps, and you can see that is the start of our lightsaber. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop with the handle and I'm going to go to the lightsaber part. Let me show you the trick I'm going to use. Once again, it's work plane. I'm going to set it on top. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the basic shapes and I'm going to find the tube. Once again, it's asking for the radius. I'm going to tell you to type a radius of three for that last piece. If you change yours, you'll have to adjust it. I'm going to select all of those and do a line one more time. Once again, clicking the orange because that's the easiest place to see center center. And you can see that lines up pretty sweet. Now this gets cool if we type 0.2 so that it's thin. I'm going to stretch that all the way out to size 70. And then I'm going to make my lightsaber red. And then here's where it gets really cool. I'm going to click on that color and make it transparent. So now we can see in. We are going to hide that for a second. And let's bring out another cylinder. Drop it on that same work plane. Hold down shift. Shrink it. And this time we're going to type 2.5. So it will be inside that shape. Let's fit view. And you can see that that's going to fit in there nice and nifty. I am actually going to grow it out because this doesn't use the radius, it does the diameter. I'm going to grow it out to size 4. I'm going to stretch it up a little bit and then change that height to 70. I'm going to make it a funky bright color or even a custom color. And check it out, all of a sudden our lightsaber has got a transparent outside and a cool bright inside. I'm going to grab everything and center it one more time. Once again, click on the orange because that's the easiest place to see middle, middle from. Let's go up to the top and let's put a cap on this. I'm going to do work plane again, right on the flat spot of that cylinder. Let's bring out a half sphere, hold down shift, squish it a little. And then on one of these sides, we need to type the number six. I got lucky and just hit it. I'm going to select everything, do a line. Once again, hit the orange because it's so easy to see middle, middle from there and boom, my lightsaber is groovy. All right, before we wrap up this end, let's hide this for a second. So let's grab this center piece and lift it up two places. And then when we do show all, you can see that the top of the lightsaber is filled better. Note, you cannot group these or it breaks the transparency. And now let's put our work plane back down to the ground and finish the handle of our lightsaber. Let's select the handle and group it. And I'm going to pick a cool color. I'm going to make mine a dark gray. And I'm going to add a button to it. I'm going to do my button with the cylinder. 
hold down shift, squish it. I'm going to decide my button needs to be size 4, bevel of 2. So we can see what we're doing, I'm going to hit that sweet fit view. This lets me find that rotate handle. I'm going to make the button bright red. And let's zoom back out. And let's arrange it where we want it. I'm going to first select them, do a line, click my handle, and say I want it in the middle, and the middle. And then I can click fit view, zoom out just a tiny bit and use control down or control up to place it where I want. Let's add one more bit of fanciness to our design. Let's decorate again, this time using the torus. Uh, the nice thing about the torus is it's easy to adjust it so that it gets inside our shape. I'm gonna select these pieces again and I'm gonna make sure I've only got the gray and the blue. Clicking on the gray, I'm gonna do center, center. And then I'm going to take this shape that I brought in at the current size and I'm going to make the tube size 3 so it's a little bit larger. And then watch this. If I turn it into a hole and do control D and control up and control D again, if you look inside there, it's going to cut out that cool little shape. Let's group those pieces. And boom, you can just see we cut out a crazy fancy design just using the awesome torus like that. Let's add one more cool thing up here using the same kind of technique. I'm also going to group the button real quick. When I do group it, notice it gets rid of the separate colors. But we'll just turn multicolor to bring that back. This time we're going to use the awesome scribble tool set it down and I am just gonna draw a silly scribble shape and be done. I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna make it two millimeters thick. I'm gonna make it a black shape because that'll be a good accent on my gray handle. And then I'm gonna stand this up. Now when you stand it up, always look at it from a corner. If you rotate close, it's easy to use that 90 degrees. I'm gonna hit D to drop. And then I'm going to bring it over to my shape at a neat place that it would intersect. So to do that, I'm going to go up in the air with control up. And then I'm going to shrink it so it actually fits how I want. I want this right here. That's going to be a nice little design that I'm going to add. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to make its doppelganger and put it on the other side. So I hit mirror. I aimed it the other way. I'm going to click on that one where the little feet are poking the wrong way and I'm gonna move it to the other side and these aren't lined perfect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do shift and I'm gonna select the two of them I'm gonna group them and now when I select those two shapes I can double check and make sure I've got it in the middle and then here's one of my favorite tricks control D rotate whatever degrees you want I like the 22 and a half or the 45 if you let go and don't touch anything else Tap Control D and it makes that design all the way around your lightsaber. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun and learned some epically cool skills while you were working on this lesson. If you do make something awesome with it, please take time to share it with us at HOModTech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HOModTech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.